Good morning. We're in the small town of Castroville, Texas. There's not a whole lot here. We're gonna drive around the town a little bit and then we're gonna try something completely new today because it's rainy, it's icky, and the weather just isn't on our side. So we recently signed up for Harvest Hosts because as you know, we like our wine and we like our beer. And this gives us access to wineries and breweries all across the country. So today we're gonna to try our first Harvest Host location. What do you think about that? I think it's the perfect day to do it. So because of the weather being like it is, we want to do something a little bit more indoors. So let's head to a winery. This should be fun. This is going to be a fun day. All right, let's go. This is all about St. Louis Day where the residents of Castroville get together every year and celebrate St. Louis Day and this church it's all about that. It's cool, I didn't know a whole lot about it. It's a thing about St. Louis. I love the old architecture. It's kind of cool driving through this little town. So we could have just pulled up anywhere and boondocked and they have water and electric for $10. We figured, why not? Yeah, just pay the $10 and use the water. And it helps them out. Yeah. It's part of Harvest House, right? Yeah. So we're here at the Medina River Winery. Now we're going to go try some wine once we get set up. Just pulled up. We went in and met the owners. They were fun. I think that this is going to be a fun time. Let's go do this. This is a interesting wine. This is a Blanc du Bois. Blanc du Bois is an American hybrid grape. It originally came from the Carolinas just after the Civil War. Uh, it was bred uh, to be resistant to a thing called Pierce's disease, which is a disease of grapevines that happens in the South. Blanc, that's the grape. We call it white woods. Literal translation. Uh, Blanc du Bois. It's white of the woods. Blanc du Bois. Um, and we have birch trees. <laughs> <laughs> Every, we're always playing with the name. All right, welcome back to another Instant Pot Inspiration. And I'm inspired by the fact that we're in Texas, so tonight we're gonna do a brisket. Wait, Texas brisket Instant Pot? That doesn't go together, right? Well, let's see if we can make it happen. So we're gonna start off making a sauce. And the first thing we need to do is take three garlic cloves and cut those into slices. 
Yeah, I cheated. They're already peeled. I know. We need to add a cup of barbecue sauce. And we're actually using Famous Dave's barbecue sauce tonight. We always mix up the sauces that we use and try different ones with every recipe that we do. We're going to use a cup of spicy ketchup. We're going to add a quarter cup of South Texas raw honey. A half a cup of brown sugar. tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce So how you say it? I know someone taught us how to say it, but I don't remember how it was said Okay, I explain that in being a bottle of apple cider vinegar <laughs> A tablespoon of apple cider vinegar But this is the <laughs> smallest bottle that we could find at the store, so Big bottle little spoon you can use it for so much <laughs> that can be used for everything <laughs> we're gonna add a teaspoon of liquid smoke and half a cup of chicken broth and then we're going to throw in our garlic And you want to stir all this together really well. We're going to set the instant pot to saute on high. And we're going to add some ghee in here as our oil. All right, we're gonna sear both sides of our brisket. When you're searing, you don't wanna put the lid on. You just let it sear naturally. And you wanna do it for about five minutes on each side. And that's gonna capture all of that yummy flavor that they have in the rub on the outside of the meat. It's been five minutes. We're going to flip our brisket over to brown the other side. We're gonna let that side brown for about five minutes and then we'll get started. So our five minutes is up. Now all we're going to do is take this sauce that we made earlier and we're going to cover up our brisket. Oh wow. 
And that completely covered the brisket. Perfect. It don't get no better than that. We're gonna drop our lid on here. Close it up. We're gonna pressure cook on high for one hour and 15 minutes. Go ahead and get that cooker going. When our one hour and 15 minutes is complete, we're gonna do a full natural release and I bet you it's gonna be good. Looking forward to it. Let's see how it turns out. All right, everything smells amazing. Natural release is done. Oh. And look at what we have in front of us. Take this floating chunk of meat. Oh my God, that's heavy. Put it right in that tin foil. Simply wrap it up. Why am I wrapping it? I want to let it rest for about 15 minutes. And while we're letting it rest, one of our friends is actually cooking up some potatoes that we're going to eat with this brisket. Alright, we're really good, but this is too much food for us to eat on our own. So we decided to come over to our friend Denise's place and offer her some food as well. You found it. We did, finally. Come on in. Welcome to Sunny. Yeah, watch the mud. <laughs> so this is Denise. And this is her home, Sunny. Hi. Yep. And this is Obi. Obi. And it's a mess, so enjoy. That's <laughs> <laughs> what it's like when you travel. It's never all put together. We get a big chunk. Right How about that one? Very delicious. Thumbs up. Mm hmm. I need the recipe. <laughs> delicious instant pot floating brisket. It floating. <laughs> mm. Mm. Awesome. Yummy. Holy cow. Thank you. I actually want some of that juice. Over the potatoes.
Good morning. We just woke up about 9.30 in the morning. It's freaking beautiful. A little bit humid, but it's really, really nice. It is really nice. I think overall the Harvest Host experience has been really good. We were social camping, which means we had two other rigs here last night. That's the first time in probably a year and a half that we set up in a place like this. <laughs> We're, yeah. If you've been watching us for a while, we are usually out in the middle of nowhere and it's it was really nice to be around people and to be able to share food and stories and stay up until, we stayed up until about one o'clock in the morning waiting for this storm to roll in, which finally hit about four o'clock in the morning and it was, it was exciting. The van was literally rocking. <laughs> the wind and the rain, and the thunder. The valley behind us, the thunder was just like echoing through that valley. And it sounded like the storm was like, lightning was striking right around us. It was crazy. It was crazy. Yeah, just like an echo chamber. <laughs> boom, boom, boom. It was really awesome. We don't experience stuff like that ever, so... It was but a nice experience. It was raining really hard, so we didn't even get out of the van. <laughs> it was also 4.30 in the morning, so I did. I thought about getting out and trying to get some lightning shots, but that didn't happen. And then this morning, we got up and Ember came out and played with some kids. Had a lot of fun. Took a bath in a mud hole, so I had to give her another bath to get her clean. If you think about it, Ember doesn't really get a whole lot of chance to socialize either, so she had a fun time playing with the little girls, and it was nice. And now she's just hanging out playing with her duck. After our wine tasting last night, we ended up getting about six bottles of wine, and we finished one, and... We planned to give the rest away to some of our friends. Yeah, we weren't sure what we were going to do with six bottles of wine in the van, so they're going to be given away. <laughs> but it was fun to come here and support this winery and Matthew and Ken, and they took really good care of us. Mm -hmm. Really, really nice people. I would definitely recommend, if you've never been here, to come say hi to them. They're very knowledgeable, they had stories for days and we had a really good time. Their stories are worth it for sure. <laughs> There's not much out there that Matthew hasn't done, so Matthew, if you're watching this, you were a lot of fun. Okay. Well. I think we're gonna cook up some fresh eggs. Oh yeah, Denise gave us fresh eggs last night. So Straight from a farm. <laughs> gotta love being in Texas. Okay, well, I think this harvest host thing is something that we're gonna do more often. Yeah, I think so too. It was a good experience and I'm excited to see other places that we can get access to. Llama farms? Come on, that'd be pretty cool. <laughs> All right, we're gonna go do some cooking. See you later.